I'm going to teach you two things that you can use to figure out whether you qualify for aid and how much aid. So do we qualify for aid? I want you to calculate your own expected family contribution, that 30,000 we saw in the previous screen, because you, it's like your blood pressure number for school. You don't want it to be like $110,000 because no school costs 110. So when I see a number like 110, I know that the family makes way too much money. They must make $900,000 or something like that. And you need to know that so that if you go to a Duke, it's a, you're a full pay. So to find it, you can just Google, go to College Board and say EFC calculator, because that's one of the best calculators to figure out what your EFC is. And next year, they're going to call it the Student Aid Re Index, because so many colleges gap you that when someone says sees that their EFC is 20, they think that that's all they have to pay for school. But if it's the Student Aid Index, is the name, then they're more confused. They don't know what it is, but it really is your EFC number. And when I did it for Duke, um, well, I just put it into College Board. This wasn't Duke. So I entered all the information. You know, I'm just showing you how, what you'll see when you go to College Board and try it. At the end, they ask you, do you want to use the federal method, which is the FAFSA method, or the institutional method, and that refers to the profile school. So on the federal method, putting in the same data, they, for FAFSA, they think you can afford 32,975. And on the institutional method, which is many, much more generous in the formula, it's only 28,440. And if you have no home, then the profile, it might be, 17,000, because in this example, I have 200,000 of home equity. So don't be afraid of profile schools other than the fact that you have to fill out the form because those are the schools that have more money and that's why they want you to fill out the form because they want, they've you know begged their alumni for many, many years to have this endowment fund and they wanna make sure that you're a truly needy family. Whereas a federal forum, there's different formulas where you could be making low money because you're retired, but have lots of assets and they ignore your assets. So people play around with the FAFSA to you know, qualify for more aid, but the profile, it's, some, it's like you can't hide. 